The one Disney animated movie that seems off limits to adapt into a live action film is Pocahontas, for many reasons. Even back when it was released, it was heavily criticized for its stereotypical depiction of indigenous characters, sexualizing the appearance of Pocahontas, creating a romance between the character and a colonizer of her people, and generally just being a completely inaccurate telling of her story. Yet, despite all this, Pocahontas is still part of the official Disney Princess lineup, and is still being made into dolls and being slapped onto various types of merchandise. So if Disney is going to continue to market this character, don't you think they should reintroduce her in a more respectful, thoughtful way? Especially because she's a character that still resonates with people in her fictional form. And hot take, I think that is a way to do it. I don't really trust that Disney will do it the right way, but it can be done, and honestly, it would be quite necessary if they want to continue having this character present under their brand. And in a weird way, it's kind of the most necessary of all the live-action adaptations, even though it seems like something that should go completely untouched. And it would also be an opportunity to get more creative with the approach while still delivering what people would expect in a live-action adaptation. Obviously, they would need to do some consulting with Native American communities, and also hire indigenous filmmakers to respectfully represent the culture. However, I don't think they should do a straight-up, historically accurate telling of Pocahontas' story, and instead emphasize that this version is not supposed to be the actual historical figure of Pocahontas, but inspired by her and her story. That way, we don't have to worry about being 100% accurate and can still embrace the Disney of it all. So, what's a way we can do this? Well, okay, here's the general idea I'd go with. Keep an open mind. It may sound a little jarring at first, but I'd have the film open with a middle school classroom in the late 90s watching the Disney animated Pocahontas. Stay with me. It's meta, but not in a hokey, silly, over-the-top way. It's just an interesting way of framing and structuring the film, as well as being a way to have a very necessary conversation about history versus fantasy and Native American culture. So, the teacher of this middle school class is a Native American woman, and the class is learning about Native American history. We can get a lot of valuable insight into the topic this way, the teacher talks about how the real story of Pocahontas was much darker and less fantastical. She was a young girl, and her story ended in tragedy, and so on. We see a brief telling of the actual story through shadow puppets or something. In the classroom, there's one Native American girl, and she struggles with her fellow classmates stereotyping her, and she also struggles with the bleak realities of her parents being racially discriminated in their lives. And you can even get into that more and have parallels with the actual Pocahontas story, but yeah, generally this girl is struggling for being a Native American in a white-dominated population. And after class, she has a discussion with her teacher about how a part of her wishes the more fantastical, sanitized version of history was reality, and she wants life to have a more magical, happy bend to it. The teacher says to her that we are not able to change our reality and all that has happened within it, but we do have the power to create new realities. She says her grandmother always told her that our minds can manifest an infinite amount of universes, and if we listen to the current universe we're in, it'll open up and allow us to travel to a world that aligns with our heart. So, obviously, this inevitably leads to the girl traveling to a more mythical parallel realm. Maybe she goes through a glowing hole in a tree, or swims to the bottom of a lake when she sees a magical portal. But she finds herself in an alternate world where the Disney-fied version of Pocahontas exists, and she gets to witness her story. 
Pocahontas and Miko find her in the forest, and thinking the girl is an orphan, she brings her back to her tribe where they take her in as one of their own. And then from here on out, we see the story unfold as you expect, Disney-fied, but more respectful to indigenous people, and also highlighting that this world itself is magical and it's not feeding into the magical native stereotype. So the young girl witnesses, experiences, and gets to be a part of this Pocahontas' journey, and Pocahontas is still going to be a fully-fledged character that we get an intimate look at. She's not going to be sidestepped or viewed from a distance just because we're looking at her from a different perspective. But yeah, initially the young girl is completely swept up by all of the music and magic and romance of this world, but eventually she realizes that even in an alternative fantasy universe, colonization can't be made to appear nicer than it is. And after Pocahontas saves John Smith, Pocahontas herself says that she does find value in all life and that she thanks John Smith for his kindness towards her, but she can't overlook the doings of the people he belongs to. And in the end, when the young girl reveals to Pocahontas that she is from another world where Pocahontas' story is different from this Disney-fied realm, Pocahontas tells her that despite the parallels between her and the Pocahontas from the real world, they are still two separate women with their own stories, and that she can't claim to have any agency or role in the other Pocahontas' life. The historical Pocahontas and the mythical Pocahontas may have been dealt extremely similar cards, but they are still separate beings in separate circumstances in separate contexts. And when the girl travels back to the real world, she fully embraces the importance of historical awareness, no matter how bleak. But she finds there's also simultaneously a function for escapism. Obviously, you can greatly polish these ideas because I just came up with them at the top of my head on a whim and they may sound crazy initially, but this is certainly the type of approach that should be done. Not only would it be an incredibly refreshing, interesting, and innovative approach for a Disney live-action adaptation, while still bringing to life all the beloved elements from the animation, but it would provide a necessary conversation revolving around the legacy of that original animated film and how it exists within a world that contradicts so much of it. And this hypothetical live-action version certainly wouldn't be cynical towards the animation, but definitely would spark a discussion. And this also would be a way to keep Pocahontas as a Disney princess, because it'd be acknowledging that Disney's Pocahontas is not THE Pocahontas, but a completely separate character inspired by the historical figure. Also, films like Barbie have really upped the ante for how to present familiar properties to audiences and have encouraged filmmakers to be more thoughtful, creative, and think outside the box and address all of the elephants in the room while still embracing the essential elements of what came before. So yeah, I think a live-action Pocahontas could work in the hands of the right filmmaker who is thoughtful and imaginative and creative, and I don't think it should be a historically accurate telling if it's coming from Disney, because it'd be as if Disney was trying to erase, hide, or ignore, or redo the past instead of acknowledging it and having a thoughtful conversation about it. And honestly, if this happened and was executed the right way, I could see Academy Awards. I honestly could. So, what are your thoughts and ideas, and what are your thoughts on my thoughts and ideas? Um, do they sound too subversive or out of left field for you? Because uh, honestly, it would just be a more respectful version of the animated film retold, but within a different framework and with an additional story and perspective going on at the same time. Um, so yeah, uh, am I crazy? Let me know. Bye.